So, sorry about that. Uh, I would like to talk to you about hands. No, just kidding. <laughs> I would like to talk to you about what I talked to my daughter about when we're driving in the car and I give her little life lessons and she loves it so much. So she said, Mom, you should make a, um, a, a video of all the advice that you give me. And I said, that is a really great idea. Actually, she did not say that. She pretty much tunes me out. But I know someday, just like my dad used to say to me, life is not fair. And I thought, well, maybe for him it's not, but it's going to be for me. Because we are going to change the world. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, the other day I was giving my daughter the uh, free nuts lecture. So she really appreciated that and I thought I would share it with you. So the free nuts lecture is when you go to a bar, which she should not be going to until she's uh, over 21. So, but I, told, I warned her. Plenty of time, plenty of ahead of time. Uh, when you go to a free bar, or free bar, sorry, I haven't even been drinking. Um, you go to a bar. There's nuts or or some sort of uh, good mix or whatever, and you eat them, and it's salty, and you start drinking, and then, well, it's salty, so you're going to drink a little more. Um, and then before you know it, then you went in and you weren't really even intending on buying any food, but then you're like, well, I've had a few, so now I'm kind of hungry and it's happy hour, so appetizers are half price. So then you get some appetizers and say you're there with your um, office mates because you've had a hard day at work. I mean, it is a struggle these days and so you go to happy hour and uh, you talk about your boss and how much you hate him. Oh my gosh, it totally looks like my head is like missing. But whatever. Okay, so. Um, so yeah, so you're talking and you're drinking and you're having a good time. And uh, you, the more you start drinking, your inhibitions go down and your wallet comes out and you're spending money you weren't planning on spending and you say you were going to go to somebody's your friend's softball game or go visit your mom or go shopping for a, I don't know paint you're going to paint your uh, room in your house or something and that doesn't happen because you're drinking and you're having a good time and you don't want to leave. No, I don't want to leave. Or then the worst thing happens, you leave with somebody that you should not have left with. It's not good. It's not a good thing. So there is no such thing as free nuts. That was my point of that. Um, there's always a catch with something free. And uh, having worked in marketing and advertising, public relations... Yeah, it's pretty much all just to draw you in and, um, like, corrupt you, pretty much. Yeah, just corrupt you. So, another point I want to make, not that I have made this to her, but just as an observation, is, uh, as I've gotten wiser, uh, definitely, um, you know, I faced kind of a health crisis last year and faced my own mortality. And I was thinking to myself, self, if you die today, what are you going to think about? And people say, oh, the times I spent with my family and my friends. Yes, that's important, for gosh sakes. It's good to have that. But... You don't, I at least, and I believe most people would tell you this also, you don't think about the parties that you went to and, you know, all your Saturdays and Sundays running around to like the kindergarten graduation and the my daughter pooped for the first time party and the, um, our team got seventh place party and the, um, just graduated from painting class party. Like every weekend, it's like a party. It's always a freaking party. It's always a party. There's nothing wrong with parties. 
but you're not going to remember all that. You you might you might remember it and be frustrated by it. What you are going to remember, at least what I when I, you know, it came down to it. I thought about all the accomplishments. Well, I have had some. I know it's hard to believe, but uh, a lot of personal challenges. I never thought I would get through firefighting one. I never thought I'd get through um, the rescue course. Uh, tying all the knots and, and the ropes and repelling. I never thought. And I don't think anybody else thought I would either, but I did. You know, I had some help getting through it. And by help, I mean, I don't mean like help. I mean, just, you know, good instructors who taught me and were patient with me. And, um, and paramedic class, I mean, very few people had faith in me. And then uh, I won paramedic of the year in Pottstown. And Pottstown, that is no joke. That is some serious stuff going on in Pottstown, okay? A lot of good people in Pottstown, too. It was uh, one of the best experiences of my EMS career. So, um, okay, now I forgot what I was saying. Oh, so, yes, parties are fun and good times having, yeah. But it's like the more you drink, the more um, kind of decayed you get. Like, not decayed, but like... It decays your confidence and your courage and your your drive to actually get something accomplished, something personal that you want to do that you're gonna, you know, be proud of. So it's life looking back, it's I don't believe it's about the parties and the good times you had. I believe it's about the accomplishments, your personal accomplishments and your successes. And the bad times that you went through, and hopefully you overcame them with dignity and learned lessons. So, that's it. That's my lesson. Sorry I took up seven minutes of your life. If you haven't read something that will... Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for that voice. If you haven't read something that will change your life, by Moxie Will. Do it. Read it. Bye.